Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be addressing a few questions I got about how to move the tandems and let's say if your handle doesn't want to stay out, let's say you're pulling on it and it doesn't want to stay, over time it gets this hole and the stuff gets rusted and it, it doesn't hold it anymore. So a few things you can do to solve that is basically you can ask somebody to, a shipper or another driver to hold it for you. Just make sure their feet is not underneath the tire. Just make sure they stay clear of it and while they're pulling on it, uh, so when they're going forward and backward. Another thing that I tell everybody is, um, is you can use uh, vice grips. You can get some vice grips, put them on it. Uh, basically, I'm not, I don't have them tight right now. Let's see. Uh, you get some vice grips, put it on it, and this basically it will prevent it from going back in, move your tandems, and then you can go ahead and release it. Another good thing for having the vice grips, if your cutter pin is missing from here, you can always get, if your cutter pin is missing, you can always uh, use it as a, as the air. Uh, so basically it will help you hold it in place while you'll be able to pull the handle. Another thing I tell everybody is basically take the time, inspect all your pins, make sure they're all attached properly. Now for this trailer, the pins, you have this the front ones and this is the back ones. Front one, back one. Just make sure that they're attached. Uh, this gets rusted and it's end up falling off. So that's another thing that they use for your vice grips. So for example, if this is broken off here, take the vice grips and set it on it. I know they're not tight, so just please don't touch them if I'm just trying to make this video. So explaining it. Same thing as well over here. So if for any reason they go over time, maybe they rust it out or anything, you can use the vice grips to, to, to put it on it to be able to, uh, to, to help you pull them out until you get them adjusted and then get to a shop. And let's see, another thing that, uh, a lot of people I tell people to have is WD-40 because you guys see there's like little these springs over time I just put down them this is part two second time recording this video uh, just take take a little spray the WD-40 spray it on it this way it helps it it helps it over time because they get gunk and stuff in them so they get sticky so just go ahead and spray them all down if you're having issues with pulling your tandems um, another thing I learned from the older people that they taught me is basically if you're having an issue with moving your tandems and let's say your tandems are sticky and they don't want to move uh, what they taught me is basically you don't have WD-40 you just basically get a bottle of water or and just basically spray a little water on the on the track the track is basically what's in here so basically just spray some water on it on both sides that will help it uh, move smoothly smoother uh, sometimes if you if you're Stack adjust is not adjusted properly. Your tires move forward while you're trying to adjust them. Find a rock, uh, wedge them underneath the tires. That will give you a little bit more of uh, like support uh, to be able to adjust your tandems. Uh, if that's a situation, if your tandems are not, like they're not, your stack adjusters are out of adjustment and they're not holding the trailer down when you're trying to adjust it, I'll get that addressed because that means your adjusters are out of adjustment. Uh, so this is for uh, this kind of trailer. Let me show you a different trailer. Now for an air operated trailer uh, for these over time the the solenoid inside they get they go over time and what happens is when you pull it it goes back in by stuff. So it's playing a trick on you. It's like nope nope I'm not gonna come out today. So basically same same idea. If you don't have vice grips use vice grips like this you know or you can have like a, you can tie a string around it pull it out like this and just attach something to it or wedge like a piece of wood or something behind it just till you get it moved just don't break it it's it's not made out of uh, steel uh, another thing that i tell people when it comes to the air operated trailers so we're gonna start with the big elephant in the room which is basically your air tank because that's what moves this whole system so i tell everybody when you get into the trailer make sure uh so when you so you guys saw when how i do my pre-trip when i hook up to the trailer i put the lines and then i go in and i release the trailer to allow it to air up and to build air that's your air tank for the trailer and so basically it's allowing it to fill up with air and then it's going to allow it to move the other thing if you guys can see this solenoid so when i push it in so it pushes in so it's basically a big a big solenoid that both sides and it pulls back when I when I release them, uh, another thing that what happens over time again with the same thing. Okay, 
but the same thing the cutter pins they go missing and uh, so basically it's holding down same thing with the vice grips you can use them and basically hold on to the end of it to be able to move them back in and out uh, people will say, oh, just use a hammer, hammer them in, and you'll be able to move. But that's, you're not solving the problem why they started in the beginning place, why they were sticking or why they don't want to go back in. So a hammer can solve maybe the problem, but it's not going to really, then you, maybe you might be driving down the road with only three of them locked in and one of them is not locked. So just uh, safety is number one. So be safe as much as possible. Uh, again, same thing with, with the, um, with the air, with the, with the spring one just take a little wd-40 spray it on uh, spray it on on all these joints sometimes they just might be sticky uh, another thing if you guys can see over there by the air tank there's that thing that thing let's go actually to it. let's see if we can get closer to it sometimes they might it might be like uh, it might be pinched over here and the line might be pinched so you have to follow the lines because if this line is disconnected or pinched, it's not going to release the front. Uh, it's not going to release the front ones. So always double check that everything is attached properly. So if you have any issues, that's one thing I'll always look for. If if let's say I check the springs, I checked everything, and I will come to look for air leaks. It could be this could be unhooked. Like it's, it's unhooked. Uh, maybe our driver was having an issue with it, and he just left it unhooked. So let's go back down here. And let's see anything else to cover for this now there's a third kind of trailer uh, I don't have that trailer here but I will do in a future video about it explaining to you guys how uh, if for a reason you couldn't adjust it uh, or anything now over time things go get broken and they don't want to move so if that situation uh, there's not there's only so much you can do uh, so I, in that situation, I will just uh, take it to a shop, call my dispatcher and say, hey guys, I'm trying to move the tandems on this trailer. No matter what I do, it does not want to move. Like the handle's bent or it's missing parts or you, you can go on the list of things that could go wrong with this system. So I tell people just uh, try these steps, uh, diagnose it by the simplest you can go. Uh, like let's say the system over here, make sure that the fin is working properly if it's not if it doesn't want to stay out use the vice grips hold it out inspect your airlines air up the air tank uh, and just basically follow the whole contraption for the tandem release and make sure everything is hooked down properly if you guys can see over there there's a hose going into it and that hose is going into all of these so basically that's how it basically sucks the air out and tracks it back in so I tell or sucks the air in out and get vice versa and I tell everybody just look at it get get familiar with what you're using if let's say a trailer you're going to be using over and over and over and you're going to have it for a long time take the time uh, and just get to make sure like sit down underneath it like see I'm sitting underneath it right now listening to uh, if there's any air leaks figuring out if there's anything I need to be aware of I'll make a future video on air leaks and how to diagnose them and how to find them but for the, in this situation this is what I would do to if the tandem is sticking thank you guys and have a blessed day may god bless you all i try to make short videos but it's impossible i think i just i just like to talk a lot and just give the whole message out and not just make it in pieces thank you guys and have a blessed day